In this video, I'm gonna be talking about keywords everywhere, which is a tool I'm sure a number of you are using. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Keywords Everywhere is a browser extension for Google Chrome. Once you install it, it gives you lots of lovely keyword ideas and it also gives you some keyword volume data so you can get a rough idea on how popular certain keywords are. It's a great tool and I've been recommending it for ages and up until very recently, it's been a free tool. But uh, just the other week, I think it was, they announced that it's now a paid tool and if you wanna get the search numbers and use some of the other features, then you gotta pay. So on hearing this news, there was lots of comments on YouTube and on Facebook, people panicking, saying, ah, keywords everywhere's a paid tool and I use it all the time, what are we gonna do? So I thought I'd make a video on exactly what you can do now that it is a paid tool. Let's go. It's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. If you're new here, why not subscribe? Just click the button below and make sure you click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. So let's talk about our favorite keyword research tool, Keywords Everywhere, and the fact that it's now a paid tool. So I saw a lot of comments within the Facebook group and on YouTube of people saying, ah, Keywords Everywhere's gone paid. Is there any alternatives? What are we gonna do? It's my favorite tool. I use it all the time. And you know, there was a little bit of panic. I wouldn't say mass hysteria, but you know, a few people were a little bit panicky in terms of uh, what they were gonna use to do their keyword research, and also what they were gonna use to pull some volume numbers out of their keyword research so they can run it through things like the keyword golden ratio. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a few ideas on what you can do. Uh, now that it has gone paid, I'm gonna share with you some alternatives uh, and a few other ideas. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you can do is, well, you can actually pay for it because uh, I don't know if you've looked at the pricing, it's very, very, very reasonable. Uh, they've set up a pay-as-you-go uh, payment system or payment plan. So you just basically buy some credits and every time you do a keyword lookup and pull that volume data down, then you use up a credit. So there's no monthly subscriptions or anything like that. And the prices start at just $10 for 100,000 credits. So that's 100,000 keywords that you can get the volume data on. And I don't know about you, but that sounds like quite a lot. I generally don't have keyword lists that are that big or anywhere near that big. So you can spend your 10 bucks and that'll probably keep you going for quite some time. To make sure that those credits last as long as possible, you can turn off a few of the features within Keywords Everywhere. For example, you can turn off the volumes that appear in the related uh, keywords box. That'll save you quite a few credits on every single search. And yeah, there's basically a load of other options in there so that you can just pick and choose when you want that volume data to show. So yeah, that'll save you some credits. And of course you can turn off the plugin. When you're not doing your keyword research, just turn it off um, within Chrome uh, and then you won't be using any credits at all. So my first recommendation is if you really like keywords everywhere, then why not just pay the 10 bucks, get some credits and carry on using it just as you were. Now, if you don't wanna pay the $10, I completely understand you can carry on using the extension you just won't get the keyword volume numbers, which may not be that important to you, really. If you're not running your keywords through the keyword golden ratio uh, and you're not doing any of that stuff and you're literally just doing some research to get ideas for articles, then you know, do you really need the volume numbers? Speaking of coming up with ideas for articles, I actually prefer just to use Google. I like to put some keywords or some products or you know whatever it is I'm writing about into Google and then look at the people also ask section, which gives you uh, some questions. And they are great ideas for what's called response articles, where you basically create some content answering those questions. And I'm not sure if you're aware, but if you keep expanding those questions on Google, Google will keep giving you more. It's like a infinite section. The more you click, the more questions you get. So you can generate tons of ideas really quickly just using Google. And of course, Google's got another section that gives you loads of ideas. If you scroll right down to the bottom of Google, you'll see the related searches area. And again, there's uh, keyword ideas there and article ideas there, and you can click through them and then you'll get some more. And yeah, just copy and paste them all into a spreadsheet and, and then start grouping similar ones together, uh, similar questions and similar keywords, and you'll start to get some great ideas for your articles. And because this information is coming straight from Google, you know that people are actually typing these things into Google, it's what they're looking for. So if you create some content around them, you've got a good chance of getting ranked 
and you've got a good chance of getting some really nice traffic. Another keyword tool that I've recently been using is keywordtool.io. And by the way, I'll put links in the description to everything that I talk about in this video. Yeah, keywordtool.io is a free keyword tool. Just stick your seed keyword in the box, maybe a product, maybe a niche, maybe an idea, you know, whatever it is you need some keyword ideas on. And yeah, it will spew out a whole list of them. It won't give you any volume information or any of that stuff. But you know, as I just said, do you really need that? Probably not. All you're looking for is some great keyword ideas that you can create some content around. Another good tool for generating a whole load of keywords is the Keyword Sheeter tool. Yeah, they did change their name. <laughs> yeah, Keyword Sheeter, you just type in a keyword and it just kind of spews keywords out continuously. So great if you want to generate some big lists of keywords, which again, I suggest you then group together um, to kind of structure into certain articles, put them in boxes, and then that will give you an idea of what you need to write about. So that brings the end of this video, it's just a quick video on keyword research. I've got a more in depth video in the pipeline, I've just got to finish recording it, which will be all around researching articles, putting keywords together, uh, coming up with you know the structure of your article, and then commissioning writers and then publishing it on your site, basically the complete uh, start to finish process when it comes to creating some great content. So as I said earlier, make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss that one. Should be up in the next week or so. And yeah, apart from that, don't worry about keywords everywhere. If you really want it, then just pay the 10 bucks. If you don't want to do that, then you know, Google is probably enough when it comes to coming up with ideas for content. I'll leave you with a couple of other videos that have been chosen specially for you. Hope you enjoy them. And there's a couple of pictures of my face up there. If you click on them, things will happen. So until next time, bye for now.